All right, here we're just going to do a few more examples related to the power rule. So um, just a couple different derivatives. So I think most of the derivatives we saw in the other examples were kind of like part A. And in part A, we've got x to the 11th. Well, when we take the derivative, um, again, that number just comes out front. So we'll get 11 times x, and then we subtract uh, 1 from the exponent. Well, 11 minus 1 would just give us 10. And hey, we get 11 times x to the 10th. That's our derivative, and that's all we have to do for part A. This is true, you know, it doesn't have to be a nice whole number. Um, so in part B, we have g of x equals x raised to the 2.137. Well, same rule still applies. So if we take the derivative, whatever the exponent is, that's what comes out front. So we have 2.137 times x. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Well, 2.137 minus 1 would just give us 1.137. And there's our derivative. So same idea. Hey, you got decimals. Uh, to me, I say, <clears throat> who cares? You know, you still do the exact same thing. So for part C, we have h of x equals x raised to the square root of 5. So again, when I look at this, I say, well, I've got a variable to a number. The exact same rule uh, gets used as before. So the square root of 5 will come out front. And then we have x raised to the new power. Well, you know, it's kind of, you know, in the others you can take 1 away and kind of get a nice new clean number. Um, you know, and in this case, well, the new exponent would just be square root of 5 minus 1. And I would leave it like that. You know, I can't really, you could always approximate this with a calculator. But then you're doing exactly that, you're approximating. So if you want to keep the exponent exactly like it should be, we can just write it, again, just a square root of 5 minus 1. And that's all there is to it. So sometimes people get thrown off by the, uh, you know, the not whole number exponents, I guess. But again, um, it's still the same type of function. You still just have a variable to a number. So this power rule still applies just like before.